Hey everyone, after giving it some thought since my, my video on, on geoblocking for all, I've decided that I'm going to finish this season by April of the others as I planned initially. But after that, that I'm going to be putting, putting the, the coverage of the show on hiatus for this briefly to determine how I'm going to be approaching journeys next to me. Uh, so, with that in mind, I've got that preamble out of the way. I, it's time for my belated be like a Pokemon Sun and Moon Ultra Legends episode 124. Living on the cutting edge. Yeah. Okay, so this one features the Ultra Beast Cartana, and it's also the last appearance of Ultra Guardians before the where the Alolay begins. And with this in mind, I think, think that... It's all right, and it's the only episode out of out of all of the ones of this anime that they just thought that way, which is kind of impressive given how how for this proper context there are ones I disliked in both black and white and X and Y. I and I'm not sure where I saw this initially. I could not find hind where where it was, but there was this tweet where. Uh, apparently one of my associates, I believe he was called Dogasu, pointed out like the Japanese fandom seemed to enjoy this episode, while well, the West one did not. I just think it's okay, which is a fair spot to be in. And of course, one of the first things that Cartana does is cut in half one of Iron's statues. Is to say, to show you a power of Cartana, I cut this statue in half. Hmm. With this in mind, mind... I actually did a decent job of uh, being sure how OP the monster is. I mean, not just cutting up the cabbages. There's a the Aina's place, place, and also the topiaries in Emily's garden. No relation to that crappy mobile game, him, but also like the training in in straw dummy that were they were supposed to be practicing with. And it's shown the thumbnail. Oh, even intruded on this on the hairdresser named Yoko, uh, who sounds like the bridge Frieza uh, as well in the dub. I mean, uh, I mean, and what it does with the fur food is pretty entertaining. And also, it turns out that both Equaza and Deoxys knock a meteorite loose, and on top of cutting the mecha in half, half it also manages to turn that into basically gravel. I mean, well, I mean. I will definitely say this. It was definitely a much better approach to that situation. Don't look up was, yeah, and it actually makes an old hole to go back on and be captured, which is kind of entertaining, I would say. And I gotta say, this may not be my favorite episode. In fact, it's probably the only one that was okay. But when the rest of the show is much more enjoyable, that really says something to me. You're definitely gonna be. And then me having a lot to say, having a lot to say once to come, so yeah. I'll definitely get you another, a couple more ones for like summer coverage of it's like the Lola, the Lola League. I mean, I'm definitely going to do my best to postal out my coverage so I can have the, have this season finished sometime in April, so, and that'll be all for now. Alola. Mm.